Welcome back artists. This is the second video of my getting started on proportions. Today what I thought I would do is I would um, talk about uh, just sort of playing around with different features that you can with the proportion chart um, and just sort of getting different body types and that kind of stuff. I'm going to start with a female um, and that's going to take up uh, this first video. And uh, so I, I want you to watch these videos in, in succession. I'll have a video for this figure, video for this one, and this one, all right? And so I'm going to uh, be doing something different with each of them. So uh, I'm going to start with the female uh, a figure. I'm going to draw in the head. You're going to see here that you probably saw that there was a ghost image there of, a, of an attempt that I tried. Um, I, I This isn't my first go around at these videos. I, I tend to... Uh, uh, second guess myself and uh, I think well I didn't really do that video very well so I'll start over again so this is like my third time starting over <laughs> anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make this figures neck a little bit longer than what I did in the previous chart you guys remember this one from the first video I made this neck um, fairly uh, short right um, it's a little bit more muscular and that kind of stuff uh, I'm going to still make this figure fairly muscular, but I'm going to lengthen the neck. So I'm actually measured down half a head down, and that's actually going to be helpful uh, with a couple of things, and, I'll, and you'll see that in just a second. And I'm going to bring the shoulders out, just like usual. All right. I often put these little crosses in here. That just sort of um, defines where the face is without actually doing the face. Okay. So now we know that from the chin, measuring three heads down is the groin, all right? And so I'm just going to put a little V in there uh, to denote that. Okay, so now this figure is, well, even though female, will look fairly muscular. I don't want to make her really, really thin. Um, I, I don't want her to, I wanted to make her look strong, right? So, um, so that actually plays into the thickness of the body. Uh, the thickness of the arms and the limbs and that kind of stuff, like with muscles and all that kind of thing. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to start thinking about that right now. Um, I'm going to actually go, I'm going to actually get her shoulders. I'm going to make them fairly broad too. Um, again, if you don't want to make someone so muscular, right, you want to bring in you want to bring in their shoulders a little bit. Okay, so I measured out here. I'm going really thick. I'm using actually a, a like a, a 4B pencil, right? Uh, so I'm going pretty dark here. Uh, and that's mostly just for the video, just so that you can see. But um, I would encourage you to go a little lighter than what I'm going here. Practice with your 2H pencil, right? Okay, so right straight down from the arm, from the, from the joint of the arm, I'm actually going to start the body. And I'm going to start by coming straight down. But then I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm going to come in on either side, um, right when it comes down to this line right here. So two heads down. I'm going to actually take this little dot out here because that might be a little bit confusing for some of you. I'm going to two heads down. I'm going to bring bring it in to the waist. Okay, so that's the waist. Okay, I don't want to make her extremely thin. She's okay, I guess. Um, and I'm going to start with the hips, bringing the hips out, okay? So uh, that's this is sort of where we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, a more typically female uh, figure, and that is the pelvis, right? Usually, um, not all the time, but um, female pelvises tend to be a little bit wider than males. Um, so I know that we kind of landmarked where the joints are for the, um, for the legs pretty close to the groin. What I'm going to do... Is I'm going to push them out just a little bit, like not much at all. If you go crazy making them wide, she's going to have these really, really wide hips, which will look a little bit odd, um, according to her body type. All right, um, I'm just going to, hopefully you guys can still see where I put these. Okay, so I went, uh, remember, go a little bit above the groin and a little, and a little further out. And then we can actually bring the hips out around that right because we got uh, uh, muscles and and tissue and stuff like that that come out okay so a little bit more in the hips okay all right i'm going to work on the legs i don't want her to have a typical i don't want to have her legs going straight down or kind of out to the side a little bit like um 
uh, like the proportion chart that we did uh, in the previous video, I'm actually going to uh, bring that leg in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually going to draw a little bit of a line here that's angled this way. And then I'm going to mark where her knee is. Okay, here's a little thing that didn't show up on the previous video. Notice that I legs are actually a, uh, four heads, four heads long. One, two, three, four. Um, and I actually, here's that, here's the midpoint between these two points, right? But notice that I actually raised the hip up a little bit. So, um, I actually put the knee up just above this line, above that mark. Okay. And then I'm going to give her some muscles here. Okay. And then fill in the bottom and just like the proportion chart here that we did in the previous one, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're filling in that leg. And then we'll put our little wedge shape in here for our foot. And there we go. All right, other leg. We are going to, since we have, a, we're going to keep the legs pretty straight for this one. So um, so I already know that distance, right? So what's the point of trying to get, go to my head and measure that, right? So I'm going to actually just measure that. And then go over to the next one. I'm going to angle her leg out just a little bit and I'm going to mark that right here straight line and then I can actually measure this here get that measure right there and there's her knee okay same thing on this side so I'm going to I'm I notice that from the from the waist I'm actually bringing that thigh and I'm not going to have um, I'm going to, I'm not going to have the, uh, the space so much here. I'm just going to bring that in. Okay. And then they come together there and then the lower leg like, so notice that we've established a little bit more of a more natural kind of pose. Okay. A little bit more dramatic, a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more, um, more interesting, right. Than the, than the, the straightforward, uh, pose there okay arms um, so when we are talking about arms this is what I want you to think about um, we know that arms are three heads long so uh, if I were to take this right if I measured one two three I would say that's where her wrist is right here um, if her arm is straight out like that, okay? Now, not, not too many people walk around with arms really straight, right? So, um, so we want to do a little bit more naturalistic. We want something look a little bit more natural. So we're going to bend that arm just a little bit. We're going to put it off to the side. This arm will be doing something different. Uh, I'm going to be um, finding, of course, where the elbow is. So I have my arm here, if it's straight out like this. And I'm going to find the midpoint. I could actually... Since I have this mark here still, this was one head and a half, right? So if we know that the different, that the upper and the lower arm are the same length, and we know that the whole arm is three heads, we know that the upper arm and the lower arm are both one and a half heads. We've got one and a half heads here, right? So I could measure that even and make sure that, check my work, and that looks right to me. So I'm going to actually just draw the upper arm here. And again, I don't want to make these arms too thin, right? Um, she's got, she's pretty, um, she's got, she's pretty thick, right? So she's got lots of muscle um, and uh, it looks like she can take care of herself, which is great. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then measure this, but I'm also, but I'm going to pivot it like this. I'm going to create a little bit of more natural bend in that arm. All right. So it's going to be more like this. I'm going to erase that guy. 
we go. And I can probably erase a little bit here. Like so. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to, I'm going to put, I'm going to make her hand, I'm just going to do a little quick hand thing here. And I'm just going to kind of block in her hand a little bit, make it a little bit more sophisticated. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we're going to do something different with this hand here. We're going to, um, we're going to, let's make her wave, all right? I don't know why I gave the, the guy a sword before. Um, you could have it like come and bend and she's maybe she's like, uh, you know, has her hand resting on a, on something she's wearing on her belt, or maybe she's, um, you know, or maybe she's got something uh, else in her hand, or uh, pulling something, or I don't know, whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make her wave. So here we go. I'm actually going to take this measurement here, and I'm going to measure to find out where her elbow is. I'm just sort of putting it on the elbow, uh, really hard to see with my big stubby hands. Um, here I'm going to measure, I'm going to find out where her elbow is, her elbow goes right here. And notice that I'm, I'm kind of getting away from drawing all those lines going straight down the middle of the limb, right? When you get more confident with it, you're going to have, not have to do that kind of thing. Um, and then I'm going to measure this and measure up from her elbow to her, to her wrist. and. There we go. And I could do any number of things with um, with what she's going to do. I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to create my little palm here. Okay, this is a little preview into drawing hands. And I'm just going to have the fingers come out. Think of the palms first before you do the fingers. Everybody thinks of the fingers first. But yeah, everybody forgets about those that palm. Okay, all right. Hands a little big, but that's okay. So there we have um, most of that figure in there. A little thing about um, a little thing about, and this is a little embarrassing for some people, but about the breasts, right? Because females have breasts for the most part, and they are all very different from one from the other. And so um, it depends on how you want to represent those. Um, they're always kind of challenging to draw. And so um, I want you guys to just be patient. Um, you know, if you can use some reference and that kind of stuff, um, I would encourage you to do that. Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put some clothes on her. I'm just gonna put a little crew neck here, right? And maybe she's wearing some Lululemons. Oh, and incidentally, this is where her navel is. That's right, where two heads down, right? That's where her navel will go. And that's where I will end that. So that is the female form. And I'm going to move on to a more of a, a superhero, sort of big muscular male figure here in the next video. All right, stay tuned.